you will be able to figure out the various factors on which the speed of the coil, which is in essence the strength and efficacy of the motor, depends. This activity is one of our star performers. It is simple to make and execute and one derives great amounts of joy when the one you make works. It also shows the functioning of a motor splendidly and is an excellent experiment to demonstrate Ørsted's law of electromagnetism, discovered by the Danish scientist in 1820. Note that Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction is just the inverse of this process and was postulated by the English scientist soon after Oersted's discovery, in 1821. Faraday was also the first person to build a motor, called a homopolar motor, in the same year. The simple DC motor we have made is also a great example to show the conversion of energy from one form to another, in this case electrical to mechanical. Faraday's law explains how electricity is generated when there's a change in the magnetic flux. Its inverse is also true, that using electricity, that is the motion of any charged particle, a magnetic field is also created. Hence, current flowing through any conductor automatically converts that piece of metal into a magnet. This is what is demonstrated in a motor. As electricity flows through the copper coil, a magnetic field is created around the coil, thereby making the coil an electromagnet. It is crucial to note that this work done 200 years ago has been one of the most influential events to have occurred in modern human history. Ørsted and Faraday's work, combined with the later formalization by the Scottish physicist James Clerk Maxwell, of the properties and equations of magnets, magnetism and electromagnetism paved the way for modern society and the industrial age. The world would have been a very different place without the work of these gentlemen. There are various scientific terms that you need to familiarize yourself with as you go through this activity. The first is uh, the magnetic field. It's also known as flux density or magnetic flux density. This refers to the imaginary field lines that connect the north and south pole of a magnet flowing from north to south and are strongest near the poles. Electric current, this is created by the flow of charged particles in a conductor. As a convention, the direction is determined by the flow of positively charged particles that is from the positive terminal to the negative. As discussed earlier, Oersted's law is nothing but an electric current creates a magnetic field. Faraday's law, this law states that the rate of change of flux density is directly proportional to the electromotive force, that is the electric potential or voltage created in a circuit that is experiencing this change. An electromagnet is again following on from Oersted's law, a current carrying conductor becomes a magnet or an electromagnet. 